As we continue along in the process of how to use Google tools to help support your implementation of becoming a reflective teacher or any other components of the art and science of teaching model, uh, we're at the stage now where we've had teachers complete a form with their goal. We've collected that data into a spreadsheet, as you can see here. And now we need to be able to do some things with that data that make it useful to both teachers and to administrators. So we're going to be looking at a tool called Autocrat, which is an add-on to Google Spreadsheets, which you find in the add-ons menu. Uh, we'll work with that in just a moment. But there are a couple of things that we need to do in advance to be able to use Autocrat. So first I wanted to show you kind of the end product that we're aiming for in this autocrat process is to have a document like this for each teacher that returns to them the data that they entered into the form. So if we look back over at my line here um, in the form where it collected my name, my school, my supervisor, and my planning uh, steps, and we look back over at the autocrat uh, file, you can see that it pulled all of that information out in a nice way uh, and returned it to me. So it's a really useful tool that um, makes the results more useful to teachers and looks professional as well. So I'll go ahead and close that. Um, the first thing we want to do is create a folder in our Google Drive to save all of these individual files that Autocrat will create for us. So I will just call it Autocrat uh, Becoming a Reflective Teacher goal sheets and create that folder. We'll need that uh, in just a minute. So it's called Autocrat Bart Goal Sheets. Uh, hopefully I'll remember that when we come back to it in just a moment. The other thing is we need to create the template document that will pull this data out of the spreadsheet into a nice format. So I'll go ahead and click on New and go to New Google Doc. And this is just a plain Google Doc, just like you're used to working with. We're going to put some special symbols in it that tell it to uh, pull data out of that spreadsheet. So I will just call it the Autocrat Bart template. Uh, I use Autocrat in the title just to help me remember that that's what this file is about. And we want it to look nice, so we'll put that image in that I was showing you on the sample earlier. So I'll go out to my desktop where I have that saved and we'll pull that image in so that we have a nice header at the top of the page. And if you don't have that on your computer, you can certainly go to your school's website and just take a screenshot and save it from there like I did here. So that gives us a nice um, professional look to the page. We'll want to include the date, so I will go ahead and type date. And then I'm going to type two brackets, which is the key to the right of the M on your keyboard. And if I look over at our spreadsheet, the date comes in a column with the heading timestamp. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that, paste it over here, and put two closing uh, brackets or carrots. So what we've done here is date, the word date, and this colon will appear on every single page and it will pull the date that each teacher completed the form and put it in here. Now right now that would just be normal type. I can also highlight that and make it bold. I can change the font. Uh, we'll go ahead and choose uh, Droid Sounds uh, for this one. So you have control of that. You can change the size. Right now that's 10 point font. So why don't we go ahead and make that just a little bit easier to read and we'll go up and do um, 12 point font. Now because we hit return at the end of that, those font changes and uh, formatting changes that we made should continue. So the next part is we go back to our sheet and we're going to want to pull all of these data fields into our form. And we can do those one at a time uh, by just copying and pasting. Or we can go ahead and um, select them all and paste, copy and paste them over. So for now, I'm going to uh, go ahead and just copy one. We'll copy name. I'll go back. I'll go ahead and we want it to have the word name printed. So we type that in. Uh, two carrots. We paste in the name of that field. And then we hit return. And we do that with all of the other fields on the sheet. So I'll just pause here while I complete that. And uh, then we'll, com we'll come back. All right, so we have the template ready to go, and I have just taken those headings over from the spreadsheet, placed them in my template, and 
then went ahead and put the name of the column or the heading of the column inside of these double carrots, which again are the keys to the right of the M on your computer keyboard. I've gone ahead and made the whole thing bold in a consistent font, Droid Sans, and 12 point font. So we've got our template ready to go. We've got our folder all ready for our files and it's time to use AutoCrat. So we'll go back to the spreadsheet and under add-ons, we'll go to AutoCrat. If you don't have AutoCrat uh, in the list, you need to go to Get Add-ons, search for AutoCrat, and install it. I'm going to go ahead and launch AutoCrat. And it pops over on the right-hand side of our screen, so I'll move my window over here. Um, always add-ons open at the right side of your screen. And I'm going to go ahead and say New Merge Job. And what this is going to do is give us a chance to link the template that we just made with that nice banner at the top uh, to our spreadsheet. So we're going to go out and choose the template that we created, uh, which was called Autocrat Bart Template. So there's our template and we'll just select that. And now that's going to link the spreadsheet with that document and try to match up the fields that we have in the template that are with the spreadsheet. So we will call this uh, BART Demo. All right, so it's going to do its best to match the fields and it usually does okay. It doesn't always get them exactly right. Um, if one doesn't match, you would just click on it and choose the right uh, information so that it matches up but it looks like it got those matched up pretty well for us so we just go ahead and hit save and on this next screen we're going to tell AutoCrat how we would like it to name each of those documents that it's going to create and put in that folder that we made in Google Drive so typically we would go ahead and use just the person's name or username and we can look at all of our fields here so a name is what we'll use and I'll go ahead and just make it exactly as it is up there we can use as many of those headings as we'd like so just as an example to show you that you can use more than one I'll go ahead and pull in name and we'll pull in school building to the name of each file so I'll type it just as it is there and here we want to save these as PDFs uh, you can certainly save those as Google Docs. The reason we choose PDFs is there are some extra tools, one of which is called Print Mergy, that would let you take a batch of PDFs and treat them as one file if you need to print these files. One of the downsides of Google Docs is that you need to open each individual file if you do need to print it and send it to the printer. So this just gives us some options later uh, that we may need. We are going to want to email the completed uh, forms to each teacher automatically. So to do that it opens up an email screen for us and we're going to go ahead and pull their email addresses out of the spreadsheet. And back you can see back uh, just behind this screen on the column that has their email addresses is username because we automatically collected those uh, when we set up our form. So we'll go ahead and type in username and I will call this uh, your BART goal summary sheet. We can type a message that will go to each person along with their form. So thanks for all you do to improve student learning. Looking forward to the progress you make with your art and science of teaching goal this year. All right, and we're going to then go ahead and click down on the advanced settings and this is where we're going to direct it to put all of those files into the folder that we made and that was called AutoCrat uh, BART Goal Sheet so we'll go ahead and just select that folder and the last thing that we need to do here uh, when it comes back is just click this box that says run this every time someone submits a new form. If we didn't want to do that we could run it at a set time of the day uh, but for us it works well just to go ahead when a teacher submits that form we want that data to go back to the teacher so we'll go ahead and hit save and then uh, it will take it a minute to come up and it will be ready for us to run the process so that you can see how that process works 
So it's over here and ready to go. It's called BART Demo. Uh, we can do a preview to make sure that that's uh, working as we want it to. So I'll go ahead and click uh, notice that we had chosen the BART demo and it will pull up the very first line in the spreadsheet which I believe is the one I filled out for myself. So it should have that information very similar to what you saw in that example. And you can see I've used a different font here. Everything is bold and it's pulling it back in that list. So if I didn't like how it looked I could go ahead and go in and edit template. I have found from practice that you would want to save that template under a different name or it doesn't always recognize your changes. So uh, I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, that window close and we'll just go ahead and run the merge. And there are about seven files and we'll see it start to run those files over here on the right. I will pause while it runs the rest of those and then we'll come back and look at their results. So you can see it went ahead and ran all six rows in the spreadsheet. It tells us that everything was complete. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Next we just pop over and look at the spreadsheet and you can see here that when Autocrat ran it created four new columns in our spreadsheet including links to the individual files. It tells us here a link to the document that was created which was the PDF and it tells us that it was emailed out. Uh, you can see this we need to wrap this text to be able to see it a little bit better but you can see that the email was sent and it date and time stamps that. So that's very useful to uh, you to know that the Autocrat worked and at what time even everything was mailed out to the teachers. So if we go back and look at our folder now that we created uh, in advance, you can see that it ran all of those reports and it has saved them all in that folder as PDFs. And remember when we chose um, how to name each file, we chose to pull the person's name and their school. So you can see that it named mine Herlin, comma, Green Middle School, uh, just as we told it to do. So if I go ahead and open that PDF here, you can see what it looks like and it ran it just as expected and it's there and ready to go. So it also emailed each of these people their form directly. So Autocrat's a great tool to be able to make results uh, that have been collected in Google Forms and sent to the spreadsheet useful to the individual who completed it. And I could hang that up on my wall in my classroom or put it on my desk and be ready to go with my goal process. So that's using Autocrat an add-on for Google Sheets to be able to create those nice reports, um, data reports for the teachers. Thanks.